hey everyone welcome to the world of innovation today i am going to guide you how you can enable vulnerability scanning or vulnerability detection in your wazoo server for the agents uh, let's just log in to our wazoo gui gui Sometimes it pop up with the error that Wazoo API hasn't been updated. That's why this error pop up, but, but it's an a usual error, not the complicated one. Currently, I haven't enabled or installed Wazoo agent on any of my host let's just install the wazoo agent first on my windows system the ip address for the server as you can verify from the url this is the ip address for my wazoo server and i am going to name the host name which will be shown in the wazoo copy this command now run search for the powershell and run it as administrator now just paste the command here and press enter for the installation now what is next command this is the next command i have to run the agent has been installed successfully now let's check that we have its agent installed or not okay Let's check in the services that the agent was agent service has been running or not. Let's just restart it again. the agent has been installed successfully and we have one agent in total and one agent in active agents this this is the agent i have currently installed now open this agent and check for the vulnerabilities we don't have any vulnerabilities currently here so let's just move towards the configuration and check uh, we have successfully enabled or not i am going to ssh my wazoo server with my admin user and password enter this configuration file we are going to edit this configuration file i am going to give you the script and this syntax in under my video description 
and we have to add this tag in this configuration and click on control x enter y press enter what is the next step the next step we have to edit the main configuration of our wazoo server and we have to find vulnerability detector tag let's see we have the tag available yes it's here change the enable no to yes and interval to one minute and press control x collectively enter y then enter now we are going to restart the wazoo manager service after this configuration change The Wazoo Manager service take a bit time to get restart. Every service except Wazoo Dashboard takes time to get restarted. Let's check. check the status. It's currently running and active. Now we are going to refresh our Wazoo GUI to check if any logs received or scanned by the Wazoo agent and sent to the Wazoo manager. Because we are we have restarted the Wazoo manager, it will take time to collaborate and reinitiate all the services and provide us the results in our Wazoo GUI. This is how you can vulnerability detection or vulnerability scanning in your Wazoo server. Currently I haven't have any vulnerabilities at my agent or the machine that's why we are unable to see any of logs maybe it will take some time
okay we can check what the configurations we have done I have set the interval here for one minute we have to change the time interval here before one minute for our testing purpose let's see the now we can see any of logs for the vulnerability or we can go with with the reboot of our Wazoo server that it will scan the agent we'll share some logs because we have restarted the wazoo manager that's why this error occur every time whenever you restart any of the service wazoo wazoo manager wazoo indexer wazoo dashboard in my session Now you can see the status, the last full scan and the last partial scan, it's the current time. Now I, I doesn't have any vulnerabilities currently running on my agent. That's why I am unable to see any vulnerabilities on the Wazoo. This is how you can enable vulnerability scanning for your host hope you guys understood 
the scenario very well uh, let me remind you a bit what which two steps I have performed for this configuration firstly you have to edit this configuration file and you have to add this tag the time interval you can set according to your, your requirement if you enter yes it will disable this vulnerability scanning if you enable no disable no means this configuration is not disabled the next step we have to un uh, edit the main configuration ozek.configuration configuration file we have to find the tag for vulnerability detector this is the tag you have to make yes here and the time interval and minimum full scan interval according to your requirement then you can be able to see any vulnerabilities uh, occur on your host and this is the change which i have shown you accordingly hope you guys understood my video and scenario please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends colleagues and your students until then stay blessed stay tuned thank you for watching goodbye